Now that you know how to select and modify map projections in QGIS, you'll use what you've learned to choose the best projection for the map you started in Lab 1, this colorful map of the USA. The Albers Equal Area Conic Projection has low scale distortion for an area the size of the US, Alaska, and Hawaii, and holds relative sizes true. As this is a popular projection for mapping the United States, there are three commonly used Albers Equal Area Conic Map Projections one for the contiguous U.S., one for Alaska, and one for Hawaii. All that differs are the standard parallels and the latitude of projection origin. We'll now project out the three maps to their respective map projection. So here I have QGIS Desktop open with the lower 48 states map file. I'm going to open up the layer properties for our layer, and I'll switch to the General tab, which shows me the coordinate reference system for this layer. Right now this is in EPSG 4326, which is a geographic coordinate system using WGS84. This is an unsuitable coordinate system for mapping the lower 48. I have two options for changing the display of the map. One, I could go to Project Properties, to the CRS tab, and enable on-the-fly CRS transformation, and put the map into an Albers projection. Or two, I could project the shapefile to the Albers CRS, save it out to a new shapefile, and while both methods are reasonable, it's best to have the data projected in the coordinate system that you'll be working in. That way you're not asking QGIS to project the data on the fly. Therefore, I'll project this shapefile to EPSG code 102003, which is the USA Contiguous Albers Equal Area Conic Map Projection. To do this, I'll right-click on the layer and choose Save As. I'll save it out to an Esri shapefile, and I'll browse for my data folder for Lab 1. And I'll rename this using the Albers suffix. Click Save. And next I need to choose my CRS. So I'll click the Browse button next to the CRS line. And in the filter box I'll type in 102003, the EPSG code for my lower 48 Albers map projection. I'll find the map projection here and click OK. So now I'll be saving out a new shape file in this new projection. I want to make sure that Add Save File to Map is checked. And I'll click OK. Doesn't take too long, QGIS has reprojected the data. It shows up in my layers panel at the top. So to style this new layer, I have two options. I could load the QML file from Lab 1, or I could copy and paste the style from the existing layer. So I can right click on this layer, go to Styles, Copy Style, and right click on the new layer and choose Styles, Paste Style. Turn off my old layer, and now I've pasted the old style to the new layer. I can remove the layer because I no longer need it. I'll be using this new one in Albers. And finally, I'll right click on this layer and choose Set Project CRS from Layer so that my map will now be in Albers. And I'll zoom in a little bit now that the projection has changed. You'll repeat these steps for the Alaska and Hawaii layers in their respective QGIS map documents. For Alaska, you'll reproject the shapefile to Alaska Albers Equal Area Conic, which is EPSG code 102006. When you're doing this, be careful not to overwrite the lower 48 shapefile. Rename it as the Alaska shapefile. Then you'll want to set the project CRS to that of that new layer, and don't forget to save the QGIS map document when you're done. For Hawaii, you'll use the Hawaii Albers Equal Area Conic map projection, which is EPSG code 102007. In the final task, you'll explore the Universal Transverse Mercator, or UTM, coordinate system.